Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sword in Blender. First off, you want to start off by selecting all these, pressing X and deleting them. Alright, and then click on one of these faces, make sure you're facing away. And then you want to press Shift A and insert your reference image. You just scroll down here, image and reference click it then you want to find your reference images this is what i'm going to be making today all right and then you want to go add mesh plane down here click world make sure it's on align with view all right and you press tab to enter edit mode Alt Z X ray mode, scale it down with the S, grab it with G, bring it over here, go back into object mode, tab out, okay, and move your reference back a bit just so that you're not building right on top of your reference. Alright, reselect this uh, plane, tab back into edit mode. Now you want to delete all the other vertices but one doesn't matter which one then you want to grab it bring it to the tip of the sword and then you want to press control and right click wherever you want your next vertice to be and as you can see there's two vertices now and you want to fill in the whole sword just using this right click method control right click also if you can't understand what I'm saying uh, it shows every button I press right here in the bottom all right I'm gonna speed past this part. All right, when you get to this point, what you wanna do is select this vertice, press G to grab it, move it in front of the other vertice, select them both, and then press F to fill, and make sure it's kinda straight. And now you have the tip of your sword. All right, now what you wanna do so hide this image by coming over here clicking the eye okay and now you can see that you have all your vertices press a select all of them make sure they're all selected press f fill it in all right now what you want to do is switch over so you're in this view with this uh icon over here and then press e to extrude extrude it out not too much, not too little. You can always go back and redo it later. All right, Control R, loop cut right through the middle, and right click to make it stay center. All right, now what you want to do is select. Just come to the top and deselect all of these by pressing C on your keyboard. You'll get this circle. Then come over here and use your mouse scroll wheel. Press your mouse scroll wheel in. You could just deselect the whole top row. Unless you have a double sided sword, then it doesn't matter. You can just keep both sides selected. But for this case, I do not have a double sided sword. So. And just make sure that only the stuff that your blade is going to come out of is selected. Like my blade's going to be here. So I'm going to select all these lines and nothing on the top all right you just want to drag this down not too much not too little And now we have a blade edge. All right, what you want to do is come up here, select these two, scale them on the X axis. You want to bring your sword to more of a pointed To 
से As you can see, we have a blade now. All right, and you want to make sure everything looks decent. Okay. Now you want to bring the drawing back up, right here. If you want, you can hide this. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to be making this part now. So you want to do the exact same thing you did for the other piece, but make sure make sure you tap back into object mode before you do this so that it's not connected to the blade. Then you want to add a plane. Make sure you're on X. Click align with view. Tab Alt Z scale S. Bring it back over here, select these, delete them. Now you have a single vertice. Now you want to grab it, line it up. Doesn't matter where you start, honestly, as long as you finish in the same spot. All right, now you want to hold control and right click again until you recreate this entire, entire hilt. Now you want to select it all, press A, then F to fill. All right, and then we're gonna go E to extrude, scale it out some. All right, just add a loop cut and then scale. All right, you see how some of it's scaling more than others, like this side right here, scaling out more than this side is. So we'll just scale it out a tad bit at first and then press scale again and scale on the Y axis, not the Z axis. And then it'll scale the rest of it. Now tap back into object mode, add, add a plane again, make sure you're still on this view, you can always check by just clicking it, it'll switch you around if you are, just switch back, alright, make sure you add it to view, tab into edit mode, alt z, scale, now we can go ahead and hide this one whoops now you just want to delete all the vertices leave one left and then do the same process that you did for the other two For this part, it's going to be inside of the sheath, so it doesn't really matter. You're just going to connect it back, make sure it's not exposing the line back on the outside. So just bring it back over here and then connect it. Then you fill it in. Then you want to make sure it's about the same size as this. So E, extrude. That's a little too far. Then you press A, select it all, bring it back in. Then you can scale on the Y or the X axis. And now for the blade handle. Alright, go back into object mode, add. You want to add a cylinder 
for me, I'm gonna bring these down to about 20. Then rotate it, Alt-Z, rotate it again, scale it down. Also, if you want to move your view like this without without taking yourself out of this, you press Shift and then you use the mouse scroll wheel and then you just drag around and it'll stay in the same view. Now you want to tab in edit mode. I'm going to go on face select. Select just this face. Alt Z. I'm going to line it up. Then E to extrude. Then you can just use your go click on this and you can just move it around. Scale it. Whenever you scale it, make sure you're scaling it on the Y axis or it will make the whole thing bigger. <clears throat> now you just want to extrude and scale it all the way down till you get the full handle and I'll come back when I have it. Now you just wanna connect it. I'm just going to adjust the size of the handle and the sheath real quick and then I'll cut back to the video. Alright, now that we have the basic handle shape, we're just going to right click, shade smooth, come over here, click this button, normals, auto smooth. Alright, and then you just want to do the same process for all the other items on your sword. You can adjust the auto smoothness and it'll change how smooth or how shaded flat it is and yeah that's pretty much it that's how you make a sword and blender all right for the next video i'll have it linked in the description as well i'm going to show you how to color it and import it to roblox i'm going to make that a separate video because a lot more people need to know how to do that than actually make the sword but that's all for the video today and i'll see you in the next one hopefully